fall. You fell pretty far there. Yeah, but I'm alive. I don't know how. Still alive. Guys, I just unlocked the cardboard box in Mark and Ninja. I should probably. Well, that's clever, that, right? Yeah. I wonder. Is What's anyone as upset as I am that the cardboard box has never actually been useful in any Metal Gear game? Dude, this chat is now going to turn into people saying how you, wrong you are and how you don't understand Metal Gear games and... Yep. I guess all not. All I'm saying is I've never hidden a cardboard box and, like... It's super useful in Revengeance. Okay, let Here me it clarify. Is. There it's it is. It's what? super useful. You are so wrong. Cardboard <laughs> box is useful. What? Like, <laughs> three in a row. I have never successfully used the cardboard box to hide from anything or anybody in a Metal Gear game. There you go, Austin. I've, I've winked the, uh, the Kirby I, I Enthusiasm game in there. Does it so hopefully to divert some attention it. away from... Uh, no, someone's on my side. He says the box has never been useful. He is dead on. And then someone else says cardboard box can be useful. <laughs> Before I click this link, Dylan, does it, does it, I, I know it's just a JPEG, but by any chance does it play a really bad MIDI version of the Curb Your Enthusiasm song? I wish that was a thing that was happening, but no. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I would play that game. It would be the best. It would be pretty bad, but it would be the best. Well, I, I know what I'm excited for on the PS4. And that's, uh, I'm very excited to be excited for E3. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that as because, well. Because, because I hear there's going to be a new Final Fantasy game announced, and I can't wait. Uh, because it's, it's the late 90s, sure and I give a shit about a Final Fantasy it's game. Gonna, it's gonna announced. be Versus 13. Yeah. Just to troll everybody. It doesn't matter, like, because Square Enix always does closed theater at E3, so we won't be able to find out about it for like another month like, afterwards. No, they'll do- it'll be- it'll be at one of the press yeah. conferences, for sure. Okay, but- Shit, Microsoft, how amazing would that be? It might be. I love that. It might be like so, when they were at Microsoft's for Final Fantasy XIII and fucking- Maybe they'll pull, bloated. Maybe they'll pull a Kenji Ino and at the Sony press conference, <laughs> the like PlayStation logo will like morph into the Xbox logo. So, um... <laughs> Like, if they it's actually actual came people. back... Wait. No joke. All right. they actually... Are they going to start playing the NWO music, and then Jim Ross will be like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. And it's two different wrestling federations, but what I'm talking about is people switching sides. I want that to happen. I want, I want ridiculous video game company drama. Like, Shane McMahon will come on the screen and say, <laughs> Someone owns Square Enix now. <laughs> Is McMahon. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kyle, what were you saying? You were about to say something. Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, are you alive? Our wrestling nope. jokes killed him. I did. He might. He might be doing work stuff. Oh. Uh, so let's mm. talk about how much we hate Kyle right now. Yeah, seriously. Oh, that guy. I'm just kidding. I love Kyle. <laughs> Do you? Well, love him. might be strong. Maybe the new Final Fantasy game is the <laughs> Fantasy X HD remake. That's it, yes. It's just gonna... You know uh, what? I think what would make the most people happy and would also be the shittiest is if they came <laughs> out and they were like, alright, we're, fuck we're fucking finally doing it. It's just, it's Final Fantasy VII. Ugh. Here, take it. Uh, this, is what you, this is what you fucking assholes wanted, right? I thought yeah. the, the reaction to the Final Fantasy X HD remake was amazing because Square finally announces an HD remake of one of their <laughs> one of the best Final Fantasy games, and everyone got their hopes up for about one second until they showed the logo. <laughs> and I just imagine the collective sigh was enough to like <laughs> wind farm for a year. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That being said, I'm glad they're doing 10 instead of 7. Me too. Just, that great. Sorry. Yeah, it's I'm, okay. I'm with you. It's, but it's every, right. every character in that is lame. Mm. Yep. I, 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 my beef with 7... <laughs> I don't think he was talking to us, but I really <laughs> hope he is. Yeah, me too. 
I like dating he is. Like, he's just over there like, fuck you, Barrett was amazing. <laughs> Going on the date with Cloud was fantastic. My real beef with Seven is like, is I guess me mechanical, which is, I, the characters by the end of that game are just like, are really earlier than the end of that game, but for most of that game, they're just slots for me to put materia in. They're not like, <sighs> Their nat their natural abilities don't like come out into what they into like how you play as them. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Uh no. What are we talking okay. about? Uh we were listening to Fantasy you talk that we like on the phone. Yeah, or we were something. To the to the service desk. Yeah. Or the, you're the service desk? I don't know. I am the service desk. I am the service <laughs> desk. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the, the least <laughs> impressive Judge Dread villain. Yeah. <laughs> Service desk. The sentence is please check your inbox. <laughs> uh, and we're also talking anyway, about so Final Fantasy 7. Hold on, I have a question. Right. I have a question. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um so like is there any way that Square can actually come out and announce like no Final Fantasy versus 13, it's actually happening and we're almost done with it? Like would anyone even care at this point? I mean mm. I I would care in the sense that like I'm going to play it at some point. Yeah. <laughs> But and I, and I mean, it's not going to be called that, obviously. I, I don't know, man. Oh, you think not? There's no way. They are making another game with Final Fantasy 13 in the title, so. But it's to... it's a I sequel. Think, to... I think they could totally end up naming it like, like Final Fantasy 15 or just something else entirely. Oh, what if they did that? That would be crazy. I would not at all be shocked if they just took Versus 13 and turned it into Final Fantasy 15. Uh, yeah, I can see I, that happening. I am excited. I, I'm excited for Versus 13. But I mean, it's, it's I'm not excited because it's not going to happen, but if it did, <laughs> I would be excited. I don't know if I'd want an action RPG to be a mainline Final Fantasy numbered title. That'd make me feel weird. Okay, I, that would make me feel less weird than two MMOs be, being mainline. Yeah. Yeah, That's what the hell? Yeah. They're both quality I, games. No, I really wish we knew what was enough. happening. I really wish Whoa. we knew what was going on with. Phil, you can talk all you want about fourteen, and I won't cry too much. But I think <laughs> you know how I feel about Final I've Fantasy twelve. Been talking about Final Fantasy eleven like that, uh, or uh, eleven? Yeah, you know how I feel yeah. about eleven. I don't think eleven. I think you were just dissing Hold twelve up. pretty bad, Phil. I like you twelve. Feel... All right, twelve's like. I haven't touched twelve. I would really like. I would really love to touch twelve. Sounds gross. It's all right. Um, it's all right. I really need to. Is it? See, I. I, I really like the, the story. So my favorite thing about the game is the grid upgrade thing. <laughs> the upgrade grid. I like that. That's the only thing that I really like about the game. Everything else I could take or leave. I like twelve quite a bit. I think twelve yeah. is pretty awesome. I like twelve except for it has the most boring story. I like yeah. the story as well. The this, this story is mind-numbing to me. Listen, if, if mm -hmm. we're going to have to choose between, like, slow-paced political intrigue in 12, or the fucking just batshit stupid anime nonsense of 13, I'm going to go with 12 every time. Yeah, this is, you're describing well, why I, I'm interested. In hey, that. I wasn't defending 13's story either. But yeah, in I'm a way, sure. weren't you? I'd go. No. <laughs> you go back down to 10, and then just having so, like, just a, well, a staff story I would say, like, protagonist is okay. Um... Is that uh, I could I could maybe give you like a rough like outline of the story so far in my Final Fantasy 13 playthrough. I couldn't do that for 12 because I just have no idea. I don't think so. That's one of the reasons I dislike 13. I don't think you can actually follow the story very well unless you're reading all of the fucking stupid entries that you get. The stupid yeah. like, database entries. I was I wasn't reading those. I felt like I had a I felt like I had a handle on what I was bet going by on. By the end of the game, you would not feel that way. Okay, that might be fair. Yeah, once how again, far did you get? How far I got was that I kept playing and kept playing because I heard that everyone kept saying that once you get 57 hours into the game and you're in <laughs> Grand Pulse, like the game just totally opens up and becomes awesome. And I got to Grand Pulse and played for like maybe five more hours and I was like, fuck this. Yeah, that sounds right. See, I got to the point where I was like in Grand Pulse, like farming Adamant toys for like materials for good weapons. I think I I just don't want to ever leave that area. Like if they just have the whole game be that area, that'd be great. Then I guess you should just be playing Monster Hunter at that point. 
Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I want, but Monster Hunter is like a whole other like laundry list of shit that is annoying. So do any of you guys like Monster Hunter? Because that's a thing that I've been trying to like. I kind of feel like I should get into Monster Hunter, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to uh, get Monster Hunter. Yeah, I, no I one played, actually knows. I played the demo for Try on Wii, and then Me too. recently I had, yeah, recently I had a friend who just played the demo for the the three ultimate on Wii U, and they had never played Monster Hunter before, and they said like, I'm super into Monster Hunter now, and I'm really excited for this game, and so I was like. I, I tried the three ultimate demo on 3DS and like did not care for it. At Do you all, have the so. Circle Pad Pro? You think that would help? Uh, I don't have the Circle Pad Pro for my 3DS XL. Uh, but oh no, wait, sorry. When I turned the demo on, it specifically said this game is not compatible with the Circle Pad Pro. Oh weird, oh, but I thought really? the whole point of it. I guess maybe it's just the demo. Because the point of the might... game was that's that game is the reason the Circle Pad Pro exists. See. The demo, I'm not, it could be just the demo, but also, if you remember back when they announced the Circle Pad Pro, everyone said it was for Monster Hunter, but Monster Hunter never said it was for Monster Hunter. Yeah. I thought, isn't it a pack in with the Japanese release? There isn't a, there isn't a, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. What does the chat know about this? I know I'm probably not going to play Monster Hunter, so I don't really, I mean, whatever. Someone said Final Hallway 13. There you Ooh, go. real clever. Boom! I thought it was clever. <sighs> yeah, I know. You're just sucking up to the chat. Somewhere. Yeah. Well, now they know Austin's a known liar, and I don't like their crappy Fallout games. <laughs> There's a good opening. Someone... Yeah. Great. I can't get over how wrong you are about that, Dylan. I know. Me either, but... About yeah. what? It's but just... I, I do understand the PS3 thing. Like, playing on PS3 isn't... Bethesda games on PS3... We're rough. They've, they've what are, done... Who are we? What are we wrong about? What are we... Dylan, I'm Dylan not liking... Games. He hates all the Fallout games, he said. Not all Fallout That's games. not interesting. What were we saying about Materia? Oh, what I was saying about Materia was... my The reason I can't... I haven't been able to go back to Final Fantasy VII in the year since I really loved Final Fantasy 7 is that okay. the characters that the character abilities and the, the character traits don't matter all that matters is that I slot materia to be effective that like by right. halfway through that game the characters mechanically are interchangeable because all they are is how I'm interacting with my materia and, and that system frustrates me because one of the things I like about a good RPG uh, yeah. I'm not saying that Final Fantasy 7 is a bad RPG when I say that but one of the things I like a lot in RPGs that I like a lot is the ways in which characters are represented not just narratively but also mechanically that the so systems that's, uh, that's something yeah. that actually suggests to me that you might not like 12 very much because okay. that really awesome grid system that Kyle's talking about it's the yeah. same for every character the, yeah, well, the other thing is, if the story in 7 was actually really good or something, sure. maybe I would yeah. be a lot, you know what I mean? Um, I, and I like I slow would... political bullshit, so... All right. yeah. I, I admit to really liking the Final Fantasy 7 storyline. Uh, also, I was a kid when I played that game. But what I would really right. love more than anything, uh, like, I know everyone for a long time would talk about a Final Fantasy 7 remake and I don't really care about it being remade like graphically or anything but I would really love to see that game retranslated. Yeah, actually that would yeah, be I bet a that bad, would help a lot. That know. probably would not would not hurt things. Yeah. Um but interesting uh when I played or uh, this is not interesting but uh <laughs> embarrassing was that the first one possibly two times that I played through Final Fantasy 7 as a kid I didn't realize somehow that Materia affected the stats of the characters, so I just loaded them all up with as much like black magic Materia as possible, so I just went around with like three black mages the entire time. That's pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. I could do now well people for do a that. chunk of that game. Well, and that's the sort of thing that someone would do in, an L in a Let's Play now, and like, I'm gonna do an all black mages run. Like, oh, that's... speak... Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can finish. That's all I got. That was the end of it. Right. I was I was struggling to see if I could do Fuck. anything else to keep that bit going. So. Okay. I, w I was gonna say, speaking of black mages, I just bought Final Fantasy One for my NES. Nice. Good um, work. I also ordered an e um, a manual 
article off eBay because I looked at a PDF of the manual and I was like, this manual is super cool. <laughs> like it? a, it's like kind of like a player's guide, I think. Huh. Like it, like it even shows like party suggestions. Like here's like a good party makeup for beginners, or here's one for like people that want a challenge. Nice. Pretty interesting. Uh, a friend of mine and another guy I know from a forum did a final. I run a Final Fantasy one. One of them played as only a white mage, and one of them played as only a black mage, and did a, a let's play of it that way. And that was Wait, a lot uh, of fun. Four white mages? No, one white mage. Three oh, dead himself. party members. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then yeah. One oh, black wow. mage and three dead party members. Yeah. That's, that's a pretty popular yeah. way to go through ten as well. Is like is a single it? party member because yeah. you get the kind of thing. Ten's another game where you can make your character whatever you want eventually. Right. right. A little so, bit. Thing, I mean, I there, the thing that's still, frustrating you about you still start off on a pretty specific path. You start off, right. but I guess I mean, especially if you play in the international version, you can play with a new sphere grid that kind of lets you go wherever you want right away. Oh, weird. Wait, <clears throat> so does the international version have two sphere grids and you can choose which one you want to use? Yeah, at the start of the game you pick if you want the, the standard sphere grid, which is Fuck. like the oh. uh, US one. I gotta I mean, go get that version and it, a way to play it. <laughs> yeah, um... It's not, I mean, it's not in English, is you it? Can, it is in English. You can okay. choose if you want to... The uh, voice acting is all in English and you can pick for the menus. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, you can play it on is emulation. The voice acting in British English? It is the same as the American dub. Okay. Ugh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good way to play that game. It's probably my favorite version of it. You gotta get to the roof, uh, Hopefully, the because in general, it does the make HD it remake is supposed to have, I think, all of the the stuff from that. It. Sh I really hope so, because there's a bunch oh. of new bosses. There's a dark version of every Aeon as a boss, and then there's another boss after that. After you beat all the dark Aeons. And just the new sphere grid in general uh, is does not give you oh, this is a dead end. as high as stats as the normal sphere grid does. Oh, is so it is that remix? Remix is that remake? Go with the HD remake. <clears throat> just new. Is it just upresing it? Like what's the? Yeah. What are they doing to it? There's no I'm new textures or anything. They're, they are upresing it. I know. Supposedly they're redoing the CG. Like, oh, the weird. Huh. Yeah. Huh. There's like someone there's some kind of someone tweeted Is that, that really it's like necessary? looks Final Fantasy thirteen level, which we'll, we'll see. But yeah. I, I don't know. Guess. And they're Remind putting it on me. Vita as well. Yeah, did they but it's not just for Vita, right? It is Vita and Vita PS3. and PS3, yeah. <laughs> and I'm willing to bet not cross by. Probably Something tells not. me. But it might support transferring, so... <laughs> That's a word that we don't use often enough still. Transferring oh, really came at the wrong time, I think. <laughs> like, it came <laughs> right at the end of the PSG. I'm just pissed that we went with transferring and not far-transing. Because, you know, distances. I, I don't think I get it. Mm, nope. I don't Nothing. think I follow what you're <laughs> saying here. But it is kind of huh. nice to see that the cloud save thing that a lot of PS3 and Vita games have going on is uh, basically proven Kojima right, and that transferring is the future. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I thought I, I thought you meant I used transferring. Right. I thought you meant proving him right in his prediction that PMCs were going to take over the world and that we'd all be under well, the control. Well, obviously, SOP is going to be implemented soon, right. and control right. will be uh, established. But that is not. Uh, specifically related to transferring, though oh, I man. think that is the first step in yeah. SOP coming online. <laughs> it'll it'll never happen. But what I'd really like to do, uh, Keith has never played a Metal Gear game, and oh, since they're so please. short, I would really like to do like a Let's Play of Let's Do Metal Gear Solid One, Two, Three, and Four. That would be amazing. Yeah. You should do that. I really liked Four a lot. Are you gonna play the? HD versions? Or... Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're not... It, it's never gonna happen. Uh, yeah. so, but... so, I feel like I enjoyed 4, but I feel like if I went back to it, it might not... Right. I live up I to my memories to it. of it. It doesn't I went up. back to it and still liked it a lot. That ending still frustrates me to no end. 
No. Like, end it. Can I, like, spoil this? End it after Solid Snake is gonna yeah, shoot. Yeah, well, uh, I'm speaking things. I don't mind it being spoiled, but we're gonna spoil. <laughs> I like, think they probably hurt you. Can she just, I'm can with she you. Can everyone who likes Metal Gear by just, like, doing the shittiest info dump at the end? Yeah. I know, so, but fuck, uh, fuck, oh, I fuck. still loved it. Uh, Wario Jack Divorce said what? it's weird to think of a game having a one-hour ending, and I kind of agree with that. Oh, man. But no, it's two and a half, isn't it? I don't know. It's pretty, well, there's the great. ending, and there's the ending after the ending. Yeah, oh, man. Man, that game is so dumb and awesome. So much, like, cooking of eggs in that game. Oh, it's, guys, I think I really think Metal Gear Solid 4 is, like, a really good game. But hallway scene, amazing. Hallway scene is amazing. Yeah, dude, yeah. hallway scene. Metal Gear, the, Metal Gear, amazing. PlayStation yeah. One Dream. Uh, oh, that was oh, really good. That's 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 Fist probably like my fighting game actually. style brawl with liquid. Somewhat awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you guys have you guys played the HD remix of two and three? Uh, I I I bought I or I what did I do? Yeah, I got the I got the collection for Peace Walker, but I did I messed around with the HD versions a little bit. Hmm. The still not yet Peace Walker, even though I have. No, meh. I forgot. Uh, they're they're on cheap. They're cheap right now on Xbox uh, Games on Demand. Um, oh, they're yeah. part of today's I thing, think... or they maybe they were. Maybe it's over now. I hope you guys picked up El Shaddai for like three dollars. I haven't what? yet. I'm gonna gonna El Shaddai three bucks that? right now. Right uh, now, it's on demand. The next few... sale right now. I think yep. uh, Hot Sauce. If I'm reading this correct in the chat room, I'm trying to catch up. I think he's saying that Metal Gear Solid Four was one of the five games that he's ever played that has made him cry. Him or her? Mm. It could be. It could be a she. I don't know. Why did they count at the hallway scene? I assume. Uh, I don't know. Or is it like halfway know. through the second ending kicking in when you realize this was not actually going to end anytime soon? <laughs> oh god. Oh, also Drevin. Fantastic. Drevin. One of the best characters in that entire series. Drevin's pretty cool. Uh. You know, other stuff. Yeah. Like, it, it's fun to play, also. That's that's an important one. Uh, uh, I, sweet. The robots that sound like cows are awesome. Yeah. I can't remember the name. I think we're calling uh, them cows. I think they call them meat legs. Oh, man. <laughs> Phil loves hearing about meat legs. Love meat legs. But yeah, if you guys haven't bought Elsie for three dollars, guys, guys, you have me. Hey guys, go to I... Xbox and look at the marketplace. It is there. Oh, okay. It's on Games on Demand. Hey guys, oh, okay. guys, I want to know what? What the fuck do you want? What do you Jeez, look for? You're so needy. What do you Get look this... for in women? Meat legs, mostly. That's what I look for. Yeah, I'm, look I'm always looking for those meat legs. Understandably. I'm getting shot a lot, guys. Deal with it. I'm trying to deal with it. How much longer is El Shaddai going to be $3? Like a day. Yeah. No. I think tomorrow is the last day. I know how it is, man. You know I have $3? Would you like me? I, I can mail you I do. It's just, I don't have this Xbox, so I'll have to log in on Xbox.com, and that's a pain <sighs> in the ass. That's the whole thing, yeah. You guys just not using Microsoft account for everything? Come on. Yeah. It's my Skype account. It's my Microsoft account. Great. And my SkyDrive uh, account. Because, I mean, everyone loves SkyDrive, right? Yes. I love SkyDrive. I don't know what SkyDrive is. SkyDrive is 25 gigs of cloud storage that Microsoft gave me for free. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure at some point soon they will just unceremoniously take that away from you. It, once they hear the the shit I talk about Xbox, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I 
though I will talk about Windows Phone complimentary manner. You know, I do like Windows Phone a lot. You're you're the guy, the one guy who loves the Windows Phone. It's it's good. I still I still want to try a Windows Phone. That being said, I am using an Android right now, though I do regret it. I kind of wish I was using Windows Phone. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Android phones. I like uh, I no. like my Android. I don't like your Android. I feel like nothing in it works together. If that makes any sense. It doesn't like, really. I have an app to do everything, but none of these apps talk to each other. My little friend is back. Mm. And like like my music app is different from my podcast app, and I've had it where they are both playing at the same time. Over each other. See, that's great. You can't do that on your iPhone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I didn't can. like about the Android is just that, um, like, everything that it gets is just it's just like it's just the ghetto version of like everything on iOS because everyone has an iPhone, so all the good apps are on iPhone and just like mm -hmm. like sloppy seconds all around. On I the guess Android like place. nothing that I use on my Android phone. Feels shittier than anything that I'm using on my iPad, for example. And you're thanking me, right? But I also don't play games on my Android phone, so there is that. If I were playing games, I think I might feel that way. No idea. I don't really play games either, but I like knowing that I have access to like pretty much all the best mobile games that are going to come out. I have my iPad, so I, I kind of just use that for for that. Yeah, I probably. That's where I'm at now. Yeah. See, I liked Windows um, because everything that was built in was really good. Like, and that, also just the wide that's, selection of apps on you're, Windows. You're gonna need everything <laughs> I to be built in. Yeah, I didn't need the apps to be really good because the music player was fantastic. Like, the interface for text messaging and Twitter stuff is kind of shared, so messaging people through like Twitter is really easy or through text message. And it's like I don't know your contact list, like list everybody. You just have like a hub. It's like every message or interesting thing that's going on is coming to you. I don't know. It was nice. Dylan, I have had to use Zoom. Are you getting the money hats from Windows? Is that a thing? No. Like I said, the reason I'm not using a Windows phone now is because you had to use Zoom. To, right. Which is not worth it. But now I guess they're getting rid of Zoom. They're going to use something else. Yeah. I can also, I, I, I need you to know that I was fucking with you, and that I don't think that anyone is bribing anyone to get them to talk about if Windows bribing, Phone. <laughs> if they're bribing me about Windows Phone, you, yeah, they're failing hard, because I am using an Android right now. <laughs> Emotional Hobo points out uh, from the cutscene we're watching right now, in the future, everyone <laughs> has terrible tattoos. Oh, it's true. There's so many, like, yeah, awful tattoos. Pseudo-digital tribal businesses happening.